welcome back. Though we introduced variables, we were assigning values to these variables right inside the program. That is called hard coding. That means your program can only work with predefined set of input values. There is not much use of such a program. Think about it. What if you as an user were told that the calculator application on your machine can only add numbers 3 and 4. If at all you were to add two other numbers say 7 and 8, you need to get in touch with the programmer who can change the program to add number 7 and 8 and redeploy that on your machine. That doesn't sound good, does it? Hence, there is a need for the program to be able to get its input data from outside the program. Okay, now let us create a program that can take its input from outside the program. I am going to create a program by the name input.py. When we say the input is coming from outside the program, that input could be coming from a user input or it could be a data that your program can get it from the file system or it could be a data on the internet. In this example, we are going to get the input from the user directly. For that, I'll have to introduce to a built-in function called input. As mentioned before, any function follow, is followed by a parenthesis when we are invoking it. So this function does two things. One, it waits for the user to key in some data on the console. And two, this function returns a value. I'll talk more about what is a, um, what we mean by returning a value, but for simplicity, you can think of it like this expression translates to a value. And what can you do with it? Just like any other value, you can assign it to a variable or you can print it out. Uh, you can do anything like any other value. So here we are going to assign it to a variable called x. Okay. And what this value will be? This function will return a value which is the same as whatever the user entered on the console. So let us print out value of x to confirm that. Let me save this program. Before I close, let me just tell you what we did here. We called a function, a built-in function called input and we are assigning it to a variable. And we are saying that this function will return a value that is entered by the user in the console. This function will be waiting for the user to key in something and once the user has entered the data and hit enter, this function will return that value over here and that will be assigned to the variable x and now we are in the second line we are printing that value of x let's close the program and execute it so it is waiting for me to enter something so let me say hello and then let me hit enter. See, the next statement is from the print statement, which is printing the value of x, which means x got assigned the value that we typed here. Okay, let us go back to the program. And this function can also take an argument, just like the print statement, it can also take a string. And what this argument will do is, instead of giving a, a blank console for the user to a key in the data, it will provide a label with whatever we want to display with. For example, I can type a value like enter your name. And if I execute this, See, 
now you know what for for the user it will be now clearer that he needs to enter a name here so again we get the same result whatever the user has entered that is getting printed over here 